And this time, ladies and gentlemen, for my three picks. Each week, we will pick three college football games against the spread. Me versus this guy. That's right, that round object. The almighty penny. way it'll work is, uh, we'll either pick point spreads or we'll pick uh, total points according to um, scoresandodds.com, according to um, a, a Vegas website. Now, the way it'll work is, I'll make a pick. And then the same game, this coin, if it lands on heads, it likes the favorite or it likes the over if we're going with total points. If it lands on tails, it likes the underdog. Or if we're going with total points, it likes the under. So it's really that simple. Game number one is going to be in Denver, Colorado on Friday night. It's going to be the Rocky Mountain battle between Colorado and Colorado State. The Buffaloes uh, coming off a double-digit winning season in a Pac-12 South championship. A lot of the offense returns. But they lost much of that defense, a lot of that defense. Meantime, Colorado State, they have an advantage. They've already played a game, and they look pretty good, by the way, against Oregon State. So I think this is a matchup where you know, Colorado State's really going to exploit Colorado's lack of experience on defense. The spread right now is Colorado minus 3.5. You know, the wrong team might even be favored in this game. So regardless, I'm going to take Colorado State. Give me the points, plus 3.5. The coin, hmm. Lands on heads. It likes Colorado. Game number two, also at a neutral site. And this is a relocation game because of Hurricane Harvey. Game was supposed to take place in Houston between BYU and LSU. They've moved it now uh, to New Orleans, the Superdome. So it's even more of a home slated advantage for LSU. Um, BYU played last week. They did win, but not a very great effort, in my opinion, against Portland State. Um, a non-FBS squad. I think LSU closed out last year very strong. I think Ed Orgeron's team makes an opening season statement. Give me LSU minus the 15 and a half, and the coin is going to agree with me. It likes LSU. And finally, of course, the big game in college football this weekend, one of the most intriguing season openers we've ever seen, Alabama number one, number three, Florida State. Now, what I'm going to focus on in this game is going to be the total points because check this out. Bama last season in the season opener against USC, 52 points. Now, in some previous season openers this decade under Nick Saban, um, they put up 33 against West Virginia, uh, 35 against Virginia Tech, and they even put up 41 points um, against Michigan. What I'm trying to tell you is Bama scores points in season openers. And I think Florida State is going to have a decent amount of points in this game. So 49 and a half, that seems too conservative of a number. So I'm going to say take the over in a game like this between Florida State and Alabama. And the coin is also going to take the over. Okay, so that's the angle we're going to take on Florida State, Alabama. It seems to be the better play in this case than, you know, saying, well, Bama, will they cover the seven? As far as that point spread goes, that's a very uh, difficult thing to forecast. So if you put a gun to my head and say, will Bama cover the seven? I would say yes. Okay. But again, we're focusing on total points. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, the same is going to be short nationally on my three picks. We'll come back next week this time. We'll review the picks and we'll pick three more games. Of course, next week's got some big time matchups. And will we be picking uh, games next week, you know, that involve big-time uh, showdowns, possibly their Stanford and USC. I know that's going to be um, a very intriguing matchup. Those plus some others could possibly be on the board for next week. Thanks for watching My 3 Picks. We'll see you next time.